every keyword, which is glory. Send it to 2600 for a chance to win tickets to the next PBA game. Back at the Conetta Astrodome, where the story has been all B-Meg Derby Ace. The Llamados have led all throughout. They've led by as many as 20 points. Now they're ahead by 15. There's a look at James Iap, who has been contributing from the free throw line. He's also been hitting some nice long jumpers, and now he is back at the line to help the cause of the Llamados. While the Santa Lucia Re Realtors continue to struggle finding some offensive output from a player who's not named Anthony Johnson. There's James Yap engaging uh, Bitoya Malone in a conversation. I don't know what about. <laughs> Yap good for his second in that free throw shot brought to you by BMEG Derby Ace Premium Formula. Dito ka na sa llamado. And the BMEG Derby is Llamados who really made a reputation for being a defensive stopping force, the premier defensive stopping force in the league. The number one in defense, uh, limiting their opponents to an average of about 81, 82 points per game. And look at this, they almost forced another turnover. That's going to leave two seconds on the shot clock for Santa Lucia. You know, Omalon playing the three position he suffered because of the presence of Anthony Johnson and that's the reason why he's been playing sparing minutes and we've got a 30 second timeout brought to you by Handy Fix on first aid ng bahay mo bonds all seals all so coach boy Fernandez will try to come up with something uh, for the realtors to use the uh, remaining two seconds on the shot clock but he'll probably take this time to do maybe a little bit of motivation because again it looks like the Santa Lucia Realtors are stuck without Anthony Johnson. You know, they should fire themselves up, realizing that it's just the first half. Well, with two seconds to go, big, big challenge here for them to be able to get a shot off, a decent shot off, because you know that uh, the BMEG defense is going to be there. It's going to be catch and shoot for Santa Lucia. Marlu Aquino steps back, jumper is short. And it's going to be a loose ball foul called against Rico Meyerhofer. That's going to be foul number three. And penalty situation is sending. Uh, will this send Santa Lucia back to the line? Looks Al -Jamal. Like, uh, yeah, it looks like Al Jamal will take it. You know, with two seconds to play in that sequence, Santa Lucia managed to get the ball in the hands of their big man, which is which is fine. I think they were trying to work the ball in the hands of Al Jamal, but in a situation like that, a crowded situation, you want your big man to stand out. And you know, Marlo Aquino is a veteran. He's been involved in a lot of clutch situations. He got the shot off, and then Rico Meyer Hoffer fouling on the rebound in play. Split charities for Al Jamal. It's a 16-point ball game. Two minutes and 19 remaining in the second quarter. Aliado looking for Meyerhofer. Meyerhofer the cut and he finishes. Nice assist pass. Pinpoint passing there by Don Aliado for Rico Meyerhofer. It's like the veteran and the kid. Yes. Playing beautiful music together. Aquino. The hook shot, short, but he gets the offensive board and he's just cleaning up down there. That's an offensive foul by Marlo Aquino. He's saying that he got hacked first. You watch it right there. It was off this offensive rebound. And there was that elbow. Now, Marlo Aquino was saying that he was fouled by Aliado on his first attempt. A foul that wasn't called. Oh, Aliado. Could have been a traveling violation against Aliado. Well, that's exactly story. what the realtors were yeah. asking for. Marlo still hot under the collar. <laughs> still arguing with the referee about that foul that was missed. Escobal 
off the screen, the kick out. What about no unnecessary risk? You take a look at the number of turnovers by both teams. Santo Lucia already with 18 turnovers. And the turnover points, what a big difference. 20 turnover points for BMEG and only 6 for Santo Lucia. And that's the story of the game so far. The defense of BMEG creating turnovers and then their offense getting fueled by the defense. Escobar looking for that three, finally connects. That's a nice stroke by Escobar from the outside. Nice wrist movement. Cliff Brown providing the screen here. Roger Yap hands off Meyer Hopper. Waits. Oh, it's a denial. Omalon getting yep. it done. Omalon taking credit for that block. Now let's see if they can convert. Inside Omolon, one-hander, that's going to be an offensive foul. <laughs> Coach Boyd Fernandez really doesn't have a lot to be happy about here in this ball game. You know, you can count the number of offensive fouls that have been called in this game. And I would say that we're coming close to 10. And look at this. Oh, boy. We now have a yes, total you're right. Of 10. We do have ten offensive ten fouls offensive already fouls. called in the first half alone. Eight second differential here between game clock and shot clock. Hand up, Aliado trying to go up and under. No basket there. It's back to the realtors. They have eight seconds to work here. Escobal down low. Marlu Aquino denied by Meyerhofer. But will it be a foul? No, that's going to be a clean block, and so our first half is over. And the BMIG Derby Ace Jamados have absolute have dictated the pace of this entire ball game, erecting a 15-point lead, 45 to 30. And here's a look at that last block by Rico Meyerhofer. Just excellent timing for this young man. And uh, we'll be heading to Patricia. He's on right now. Just curious kung paano na mamanage nitong si James Yap na maglaro with a left knee injury. Pero nakakabente. Almost 20 minutes ka na. 13 points and 5 of 5 from the free throw line. Uh, sa akin lang, no. Ang um, iniisip ko lang talaga ay makatulong sa team. So, yun yung ginagawa ko parate. Kahit may nararamdaman akong sakit ngayon. So, kailangan talaga eh. Kasi uh, yung goal lang namin, maka maka abuta kami sa 3, 4, 5 na spot. So, kailangan talaga namin each, every game, kailangan namin panalo. We expect na yung Santa Lucia babalik sa second half na mas matibay pa. Eh, kayo din ba? Yun din ang gusto mo mangyari. Mas tumibay pa kayo. Eh, kung ano yung pinapakita namin tong first half, no? Kailangan i-maintain lang namin yung defense namin dahil talaga hindi sila masyadong naka-forma talaga sa uh, execution nila. So, yun, yun, yun pa rin ipapatuloy namin this, this coming second half. Alright, see you then. We'll be back for more of your PBA action at halftime. Come right up. Welcome to halftime here at the Coneta Astrodome where it's been an all BMEG Derby A show. The Llamados ahead by 15 against the Santa Lucia Realtors. Vito Lazatin here along with the Dean Canito Henson. And really, the BMEG Derby A's Llamados have been doing so much on both ends. They've been forcing so many turnovers and the Santa Lucia Realtors are left without an answer. Well, I think BMEG is just showing and proving that it deserves its number one spot as the best defensive team in the league. And they're giving up only an average of 83 points a game. Right now, 30 points limiting Santo Lucia. It's 14 points in the first period and 16 points in the second period. Boy, they're running on course to limit Santo Lucia to just 60 points in this game. Now, they've done everything right, and it's because of their defense. They've gone back to basics. For BMEC, they've been able to cover the passing lanes Forcing Santa, Santa Lucia to take very poor shots, 30% 30, 30 field goal percentage. They haven't been taking uh, unnecessary risks, and that's great. When you take a look at the turnover points, 20 to 6, the big difference right there. And they have been challenging the interior, and they're getting away with a lot of inside points, Tito. So I expect to see a couple of X's on the other side of the Dean's list. Not just a couple, I think three X's <laughs> on the part of Santa Lucia. Not by AJ alone. You know, that's an iffy situation. 
Tuhan 